Good night. What? I really want to know. <laughs> what? I'm almost Damn, done with Sekiro, and I just want to know what the next, like, what's the best video game Locked. out right now? She cock-locked you, bro. I heard people saying Resident Evil 2 was really highly rated, but I'm not really look. I'm not in. You know that. what, Derek? Uh, they did a great job with Resident, Resident Evil 2. Yeah. But it it is survival horror, and I was yeah, like, Yeah, I don't think uh, I'd like it. Yeah. I, I appreciate what they did. They did a great job, but it was too much for me. Um, I'll return to it. I'll probably play Maybe more. Maybe I'll Devil May Cry yeah. 5. I don't know. Garrett seems to be liking Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> oh, yeah. Devil May Cry 5 has been awesome. I, I, huh, okay. And I, I bought it just, just so I could like talk about it on the podcast. And I was like, I'm not going to beat this. But you know what I mean? I'll try it out. And I legitimately, like, I want to complete that game. That game was a blast. Like, I can't trust reviews. And I just want to know what, you know, I have to go with trusted sources. Everybody here saying Metal, uh, Devil May Cry 5. Maybe I'll check that one out next. Oh, we're in the after show now, yeah? Okay, good. Um, oh, we are? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah, well, let, let <laughs> me take... would have good content. Let me take the moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open our P.O. Box stuff. Is that cool? Yeah. Uh, we had... Listen, there was some drama in the office because of this next thing that I opened. There was a little bit of friction. Um, because I screened this ahead of time. Um, and I said, Kevin, this is a great thing. I think you'd really enjoy this. Sean came in and then I thought he already had this and he didn't, <laughs> but this was addressed to me, but I already have it. And so I said, Sean should get it. And Kevin looked so jealous and upset. Um, but this is from, let's see. Ah, my nose. CBD. <laughs> yeah, got to snort it. Stop snorting that CBD, dude. Zachary D went to an antique mall and found this item. He said, uh, it, "They said it was still sealed. I don't know. Open the box, see what you think." And it was packaged real weird, so I'm just like, "What am I in for here?" But look at this. It is the complete Wonder Years box set, DVD box set. In the locker and everything. This has like a book, a soundtrack, all that stuff. The entire series. I thought Sean already had this because this is like one of his favorite shows, just like mine. He didn't. So I said, Sean, you should take it. And Kevin got his eyes turned green. He said, <laughs> I thought I was going to get it. So I don't know who's going to be here and who won't next week. Who's here right uh, now, though? Kevin's here. Are we, uh, are we skipping somebody in the hierarchy of Mega64? Well, it was addressed oh, to me. What the fuck? Yeah, Meg, it was addressed to me. And I listen, Derek. I chose Sean because Sean, back in the day, it goes would, Rocco, Sean, Kevin. Now, would what the fuck? Well, no. Hey, you forgot Meg, Derek. He was the only one here when I opened. Why do they keep doing that? And so, uh, so Ke there was an assumption Kevin would get it because he was the only one here. It doesn't work that way. Kevin thought it did. He thought, oh, that's mine. Thanks. Sean, when I knew him, ever since I first knew Sean, he would check TV shows on DVD.com to see when was the Wonder Years coming out. He checked it every single day. So this was addressed to me. I already have it. So I said, Sean, you have earned this. And I gave it to him. And let me just say, it he, hasn't been going well. Uh, he acquiesced so, to Sean. But here's how we make it right. Here's how we make it right. This should be the first item on our shelf. Oh, we could all borrow it too then. No, no, no it's, it's oh. never to be removed <laughs> what? from that shelf. It's sealed. If I see one, if I see disc one oh, removed fuck. from that box, this I'll is red vines all over box. again. God damn it! So, what's the? Yo, I'll oh, it's talk. red vines all over again, which means Garrett will open it and take them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I ate one. I didn't take them all, and I think Brian had some too. Is that right? I was the one who opened. So, see, it wasn't even me. <laughs> I get blamed for shit around here. Um, and then we got uh, a card, an Easter card from Braden. Uh, Elmo likes Easter. Uh, and there are uh, stickers. Uh, Yum. There's Cookie Monster and, well, assorted uh, Muppets. What are we, fucking babies? I don't. Happy Easter Mega 64. He is risen. Uh, haven't been able to catch a live broadcast recently, but hope you guys are covering the Joaquin Phoenix Joker thing. Have a good Easter. So well, there you have psychic. it. He's uh, psychic. But. We ha I think we've covered it as far as it can be covered right now. We'll, he, we'll continue. He didn't even know there was a Joker update today. <laughs> nope. Um, 
but you know, we'll see as the wor- as the worlds of Star Wars and DC collide. We'll see where it takes us. It's a real Suicide uh, Squad. The two of those. Worlds. I'm excited for them to reboot Suicide Squad. I made a crack about that on Twitter. I said, "Yeah, that seems like a good thing to make," and I got jumped on because, dude, James Gunn's writing it. He rules. Yeah. He's yeah. cool. I wish he was writing anything else. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like how Margot many times... Robbie's back. Yeah. That's good to see. I mean, didn't David <laughs> what's his name? Is it David Goyer? Is that his uh, name? I can't remember. Uh, Who wrote or directed the last one? Or am I maybe I don't I'm, know. I don't know. You but know what uh, they should do. But he did End of Watch, which was amazing. That didn't matter. That movie sucked. Will Smith's out. Get a movie written by Paul David fucking Ayer, that's Dini. What Okay, get. I'm tired of all these filmmakers taking comic books and fucking them up. Get a comic book writer to write this shit. Yeah. They did that with Sin City, right? Wasn't Frank Miller also the director? No, no, no. Are you sure? Was he? Yeah. That's that's what I thought. I thought. That was Robert Rodriguez. That's what I thought. That he he and uh, Rodriguez did it kind of co-directed. Oh, uh, and like, I, yeah, and I thought so, like someone couldn't get credited for it because of that. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, there was issues with that or something. Maybe I'm remembering. That. I don't know. But Paul step- Dini is he ready to step in and do a bat? He does Batman, right? He did all the best episodes in he Batman did. the Animated yeah, right. Series. Yep. He was, wow. oh, uh, wow. and didn't he write for Lost too? Uh, <laughs> it, it, uh, some of the stuff in the first season, or at least I don't even know how many episodes he actually wrote, but he definitely was like story. Like he would, he he was in the writers' room. Definitely, he's still writing episode. Batman comics, and yeah. uh, uh, the like story on in the comics is great. Yeah. Do you guys like Sin City? No. Um, Did I strike a nerve when I brought it up? It doesn't seem like <laughs> anybody like likes that movie. No, no, yeah. I just honestly was trying to remember yeah, what not the deal really. was. I, I, it was okay. Not really. See, I really, I think I put that up there with like favorite comic book movies. That one's up there with it, like Watchmen, like best versions. Oh, no, see, I hate Watchmen was garbage. See, I thought, no, nah, I thought good comic book movies, like if I had to pick a uh, top three, I doubt it. I'd say <laughs> Sin City, Watchmen, and. Uh, it's hard to pick which Marvel movie, but I did really like. Nope. Those aren't even like comic book movies. Like, <laughs> I like when a comic book movie actually looks like a comic. Like, since no, he had I, like I Frank. Logan? Were you going to say that. Logan, Garrett? Lo- Old Man Logan? Yeah. What What was that last one called? Logan. Logan? Logan's. Yeah, Logan is up there. <laughs> Logan's up there. Uh, That's City. the best Marvel one. Sin well, City that's not had, even Marvel. Uh, Sin City looked, had great visuals, but I felt yeah. like that the storytelling quality of it but the sequel they nailed it no i didn't i can't believe they did a sequel (laughs) that was like a few years ago like what happened but um i remember it's so funny because now it's so not a thing but at the time i remember it was a big deal dude that new uh, they're working on sin city right now oh oh really a movie based on that yeah i hear it shot a hundred percent green screen at that time it was like wait what you know what I mean? Like that 100%, was, that, yeah. yeah, that was, uh, to, you know, uh, the, the star Wars prequels were a thing at that point. So we knew there would be a lot of green screen, but that was to hear that they were outright shooting this hundred percent green screen. That was like heavy. Um, and now it's like, please don't, don't do that. Um, favorite top three superhero movies, top three ever superhero or comic book, Com- he- comic book movies. Okay. I guess what's the difference? It's, uh, Spawn. That's, or like a comic, the, like that's a comic spirit. book movie. <laughs> spirit. But but like all the Marvel movie? shit is like Thor. If it's the... I don't know. What's the difference between a superhero movie and a comic book movie? <laughs> I feel because like... Because there are comics that... <laughs> yeah, Men in Black was a comic. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're not, are they superheroes? But they're not superheroes. Yeah, so uh, there you go. All right. Well, I, we're counts. not going to count Men in Black. Like well, Scott Pilgrim. That's a comic. That's, that's a comic true. movie. All right. We'll count Men in Black and Scott Pilgrim. We're, we'll count them all. <laughs> comic book movies. What's your favorite? Since we're talking about Sims, Mall rats. Sim City, <laughs> Mall Rats. <laughs> Man, you're you're it's about the books. edges there. Uh, no, a movie uh, uh, un- unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, a movie based on a comic book series. Uh, I'm gonna go with oh, shit. Mine's Spider Verse. Oh, Spider Verse is so high. Well, that's our top three. Yeah. I forgot, three. Meg. I don't know. Top Spider-Verse. three. <laughs> uh, Dark Knight would be the number one. 
Okay. Oh yeah, Dark Knight's good. Um, you know, it might just be those fucking three movies. No, well, no. Okay, I'm gonna say number one, Dark Knight. Number okay. two, Batman Returns. I still love Batman Returns. And then three might be either one of the Dark Knight movies again or Spider Verse. I really like Spider Verse. It's a lot. so good. I I gotta stick by uh, Watchmen and Sin City are both great comic book movies. And I think they have that feel of, like, there's actual frames that you see in the filmmaking. And older comic book movies used to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I referenced Spawn earlier. <laughs> but uh, where they, act, like, one of the Hulk movies that Ang Lee made yeah. actually did it too much, where it was like, pow and I bang. hate that yeah. shit. I that hate got overworked that in there. That comic transition shit was in so many different movies. And it was like, uh-huh. Got it. It's a comic. To me, it's oh. like it'd be like me adapting a Charles Dickens movie, and every uh, different scene there's a page turn. Like, get the fuck out of here. I, I, just I know picked, it's based on something. I just thought of and picked my third one. I'll, okay. I'll say, you know, overall love for Wolverine in any form, but I think top three. I'm gonna go Sin City. Uh, uh, what did I? What was this? Watchmen <laughs> and Dark Man. I think Dark Man. I, think Dark, Dark, Man. Dark Man. I didn't see that coming. Sam Raimi <laughs> yeah. directed those comic movies before yeah. he ever did the Spider-Man trilogy or however many Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies he made. But the Dark Sam Man Ram movies, <laughs> Sam Raimi, that Sam, Sam Raimi made <laughs> with Bruce Campbell, quick cameo yeah. at the end there. It's uh, those were Dark Man and Dark Man Two. Dark Man Must Die. Great comic book movies. Dark Man <laughs> Must Die. Like, fucking best You've title ever. You've never seen ever. Dark Man movies? They, they really knocked it out of the park with that title. <laughs> Liam Neeson was uh, the star, yeah. Wow, talk about whitewashing Dark Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> fucking that was based Neeson. off a comic. What are you talking about? Uh, I would go with... Hancock? <laughs> Blank No, man. I'm not going to go with Hancock. <laughs> Meteor uh, Man. Not going to go with man. Meteor Man. Go with all three. Keep it... Dark Knight... The second Christopher Nolan, but just that one. I didn't really care for the first one, and I really didn't like the third one. Personally. Yeah, I, lo I, love, but, them I love them all, but that's the classic. That's really the, the uh, classic. I'm going to get ripped apart for these next two. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. No, that's oh, great. That, and that was 300. Good. Okay. Uh, I, no, 300 I'm, kept popping into my head. That's a thumbs down from me, dog. Yeah, I like 300. <laughs> what about 30? Anyone like 30 days nope. at night? <laughs> <laughs> Doubt nope. it. Don't I think don't, so. I don't it. hate. I don't hate Guardians of the Galaxy, but I didn't think it was that special. Uh, I uh, personally. I really enjoyed it. The first but, one. Uh, yeah, but I hate yeah. three hundred. Fuck three hundred. That <laughs> slow motion shit. Fuck. I'm over three. Yeah, three hundred. Uh, just didn't hit me the same way. But I way. see. But I yeah. see. Well, I get. You know. Yeah. I, I you know it. what? It's the same reason people don't like Borat. Because it's so ingrained into the cultural zeitgeist, uh, they're sick of it. It's the same reason people I, don't like Austin Powers. Yeah, no. they're sick of every other person going, "Do I make you horny, baby?" Sure. But I remember but, just the first time I saw Three Hundred, the feeling I had thoroughly enjoying. I that. was I was in the theater sick of it. I was in the theater going, you've gone to slow motion so many fucking times. Stop. If they played this at regular motion, this movie would have been 30 minutes. Well, all right. I'm not cool as cool as you, man. I liked it. Uh, I, what was your third pick again? 300. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah. What was your second then? I'm sorry. Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardi uh, what was your first? <laughs> Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was a screwball And in the there. first one was Dark Knight. And the it second was, one was Guardians of the Galaxy. Second one was Guardians of the Galaxy. That's right. Third Very one was nice. No, but uh, but I but I had that same. But Derek, I had that. Same, that was me during the Watchmen too. It's Zack Snyder. I was sitting there in the middle of Watchmen, or, or not in the middle of it. I remember it hit that fucking Bob Dylan. It was so early on in the movie. It was practically. I think. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's actually the opening, but it was. No, the times they are a change. That's right in the and beginning. It's, and it's like. It was off to a bad start. I was like, fuck. <laughs> this is the most pretentious shit. Can we just fucking move on? Oh, that was cool, bro. And then gun and me none and we shoot and we cuss and we have sex and time to change. Yeah. And I was like, this is not going to go well, man. There was some stuff I liked we in the movie. We cuss but. and we have sex. And we did. And the and the comedian's dead. Smoking the cigar. And we're smoking weed. Whoa. And the times are a change. And I'm like, we're in minute 20 of this intro. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like, fuck this. And I'll take there were some things I liked, but... down to hell uh, with me, Another Murdoch. one for me would be Ragnarok. Oh, Ragnarok was good. Thor Ragnarok? Yeah. Uh, I watched that, but that, was good. that 
Yeah, I didn't get it. Everyone said that was the best Marvel, Marvel movie. movie. I do. The so best Marvel movie. Holy like a shit! Sci-fi movie. The, Who the, the new fuck Marvel? said that? A the lot of people Mar- said that that was like the one to watch. Ooh, if you only watch no. One. Sorry, man. I, That's like I the only one I've ever watched. No, I'm just surprised they cool said that. People like you. <laughs> no, what's I'm, the best Marvel movie? I'd say Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah. No, I've just on, I've never like heard it? that. I've just never heard that. I didn't dislike that movie. I just didn't. I've never heard anyone say that was the best one. That's I've a never that's heard a that. that's a high tier. A lot of in people the do Marvel. I'm not involved in Marvel films. I always say, "What's the movie to watch?" And people go, "Thor Ragnarok." That's the yeah, only one. Yeah, that's you need what to I see. heard. What? That's why I watched it. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it the was Thor- like a comedy. Yeah. yeah. Don't it, I mean if you're watching I would say that's the one to watch of the Thor movies. Um, right. It but brought of the, the whole thing. What's the, the best humor. Marvel movie? You've seen them all. Uh I would say uh Black Panther or I mean Infinity War was probably my favorite of them, but that you have to see like 80 other things before you watch yeah, that. You so, just, you know, do you just go into infinity war? Can you, yeah, you uh, gotta watch. You can, some. you can, but I mean, it doesn't carry a lot of weight. Mm. Um, but, uh, this as, as a standalone, I would say black Panther or, you know, er, I will say per- personally, a lot of people talk shit on this, but I loved, loved, uh, kept, uh, Dr. Strange. I oh, yeah. really loved it. Okay. I'm not going to say everyone maybe would like it, but I, I liked that it wasn't just about like who was stronger. You know, it was more about like outthinking shit. I really enjoyed it, but uh, but I'm not going to say that's the best one or anything. But Dormammu is just kind of lackluster villain, though, you know? Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of liked Dormammu. I kinda liked it. Yeah. You kind of liked Dormammu? Yeah. I liked that it wasn't just like a, a strong guy in a, a, or a, a dude in armor. He was I, like actually, a I actually, I actually liked. I liked that it was a like kind of a force of nature in rather a different than, realm. Yeah, yeah, and he had to like outthink it rather than just kill it. I don't know. I, I, uh, I liked it. I got Black Panther from Redbox, and I popped it on, and I I sat. <laughs> this is going to be the worst review of this movie. <laughs> okay. I watched about thirty seconds of oh, it, and Darren. I was like, you know what? Oh man, I'm just not in the mood, and but I turned it off and yeah. just never went back to it. Shuri's hmm. the best character in that show. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. I really liked it. But you know, I was telling Derek the other day though, like I saw it a couple more. T- I saw it I, again when it came out on like Blu-ray, and I liked it. But then I watched it again when it, like all the Oscar shit was happening. I was like, let me give that another watch, and I was like. All right, I've seen this enough. You know, you know, it's like it's. I still. It's an I, I story. enjoyed watching. I enjoyed watching a good amount of the Marvel movies. Some I liked, some I didn't. But I still don't know if they hold up in the way of. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like I watch. I, I've seen The Dark Knight like thirty times. I still like it. I mean, there's some stuff that doesn't hold up, but I still really dig that. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. a real attempt at making a valuable movie there, and I, I kind of uh, yeah. When I watched Black Panther again, I was like, I'm good. I don't know. But whatever. Um, what in your opinion? What, what are your top three Marvel movies, and what are the bottom three? <laughs> the Ooh, bottom three. This is good. And you've seen them all too, right, Garrett? Yeah. Oh, all yeah. right. Can I want to know. The last Thor movie is absolutely the, or the first Thor movie is the absolute worst. Uh, right. I don't know. Thor? I I thought it was bad, but I think there were worse. I want to know. Really, the second uh, Thor. Think was about it, because I want to get top three, bottom three. Okay. <laughs> You can start Rocco, with the top. I got one at the, in my bottom three that is just oh, I'm I've I've just email bombed myself because okay. I know I'm gonna <laughs> oh, get no. me, I get all three though. I ready. got zero entertainment value out of Spider Man Homecoming. I Whoa. didn't even uh, I, to, there there are certain things that you see where you go I don't I can't even get on the same page as anybody else. I don't know what they're talking about. That was that movie for me where I was like this is so dull. It was funny. The script was funny in that movie, but I was like so completely non-entertained by that whole fucking thing. Uh, so that would be one of mine. And then the other, yeah, I I, I didn't see Thor two. I never did. Um, I saw the first Thor, so maybe I, I would maybe I would pick that. But Iron Man two, I think, <laughs> is the top worst of all that, of them. That's up there. That was one. Oh no 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 no. You know what? You know what? I'll I'll cut. I'll even cut Spider Man some slack. I'll bump it out and I'll put Guardians of the Galaxy two there. I didn't enjoy any of those. Guardians of the Galaxy two and Iron Man two were to me on the same level. Where while I was watching it, I wasn't like miserable. I wasn't like, you know, I'm laughing like huh, this is pretty funny. Okay, you know. And then I looked. Both movies is when I looked at my watch and I went, oh fuck, there is like ten minutes of this movie left. You know what I mean? Like it was like. 
they haven't really like done it. Like, what is, is this it? Yeah. And then, yeah, it ends and it's like, whoa, that was it. Um, I remember Iron Man 2 was that. It was all kind of like kooky and <laughs> snarky. And then it was like, are we doing anything? Oh, shit. It's <laughs> wrapping, wrapping up. this up. Yeah. Uh, so Iron Man 2, I think, is the worst. Um, so and Guardians the 2, Iron Man 2, and Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, I think those three. are I think those are mine. And what are your top three? Uh, I'm gonna of Marvel. Uh, yeah. Oh, of just Marvel, not just comic book movies. Yeah. Just, top. Th oh, top three would be, uh, uh, Black Panther, Infinity War, and Doctor Strange. Okay. okay. That's the ones you previously mentioned. Meg, do you have a? Um. So for the first top three, I'd still probably stick with Spider Verse, um, Thor Ragnarok, and. Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess. Okay. With the first one? Yeah. I've seen all three of them. Yeah. Yeah, Spider-Verse is an one. MCU, though. MCU. I don't know. Keep it in the 616. <laughs> I don't know. Keep it in the 616. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll let you Spider-Man counts. And the worst ones, uh, what was the Spider-Man with emo Spider-Man? Was that the worst Spider one? Spider-Man 3. Andrew Garfield, right? No. Uh, no Toby Maguire. Oh, Toby. You yeah. Know yeah, that was yeah. awful. <laughs> when that was he uh, was dancing and evil and emo. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, and I'm just though I loved, that. I loved that <laughs> they out. addressed that in Spider Verse. Yeah, that was awesome. Where that it shows so them doing funny. that for a second, and they go, "We don't talk about that." Exactly. <laughs> that was awesome. That's probably that counts for all three of my bottom three because I don't fucking know Marvel. <laughs> um. Okay, that's all three. Years. Yeah. Okay, so my all top right, try to three, keep it to MCU if possible. Yeah, I I can that. do that. I can play within the. I can color within these lines there. <laughs> all right. So uh, top three, I'm gonna go Infinity War. Guardians of the Galaxy 1, because the yeah. whole daddy issues in 2, it, it's like, I'm bored with it. I like the last 20 minutes of it, but I, the rest I didn't. Yeah, and you get a... Yeah, I'm just going to quit I explaining. Needed. Sure, yeah. Uh, and I think if I had to pick a third, I'd say Thor Ragnarok. Um, for I, I did like Thor Ragnarok. Just, they, I, I wasn't trying to sound They knew like how to put comedy into that third Thor movie and almost make it like a space adventure. It was just a yeah. straight yeah. up sci-fi movie. The first 20 minutes of Ragnarok it was a little too chuckle fucky yeah. if I can use that term. I was going like, alright, make it there a little bit too. Because I remember Ryan Dr. Mr. Ryan yeah. saying like, I My hated lawyer. that movie because it was too <laughs> you know, too jokey. And I felt that way for the first 20 minutes. But then I felt like it worked towards the I, I, th I thought they found a good balance as the movie went on. Right. I, I dug it. Bottom three, though, uh, gotta agree with you, and the Whipmaster in Iron Man 2 is just terrible. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Iron Man 2. Going That's to Milan and racing cars sucks. and all that boring shit in the beginning. Yeah, get out. Uh, I'm gonna go with the first Spider-Man. Sorry, Sam Raimi, but I kind of agree <laughs> with you. I don't know about him dancing, but just yeah. the first one. I was always, like, not into those Spider-Man movies. Uh, last one, I would say, I guess not... MCU, that old... Did the old Fantastic Fours count? No, probably not. Uh, yeah, I guess. Why not? Or Those or any oh, of the Hulks. I thought you were coloring within the lines. Of <laughs> all right, all right. What happened? Well, those I, lines are blurry. <laughs> I thought it gets a little blurry with the Fantastic Four, but because uh, they try to reboot that again. And that you were the weird. one that prefaced, oh, yeah, I'm the one that's going to play by all the right. rules. Well, I'm trying to pick a real turd, but but I think uh, first, first Spider-Man... Toby doesn't really count as current MCU either, though. Yeah. Shit. Maybe but, I'll yeah. have to, um, you know, because I, a strange, like, I want to find these movies. They, there's like 20 fucking movies. There's there have to lot. be some that I like. I yeah. did like Guardians of the Galaxy and, and the other ones that I mentioned, but all these others I feel like I've already seen, and I was like, man, eh, not really for me. If you know, you Thor do... Ragnarok just was not entertaining to me. It was yeah. kind of goofy, and then the, the fighting I felt was a little bit melodramatic, you know? But that's just... Maybe that's just superhero movies in general. Yeah, I would I would watch the rest of Black Panther. I'd be curious what you would think about that. Because Sean Panther Sean liked that too. I mean, Sean's completely out out of this bubble, and he liked it too. So I don't know. I liked Maybe. it. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. As and, and, and honestly, and really, a big part of it too is that it really doesn't call back on anything else. You know, I like continuity. I like continuity between stuff and little hidden things. I don't like when they rely on it. Like again, with Spider Man Homecoming, I didn't really like. Tony Stark coming in and helping him and stuff like that. I, I, I don't I don't like that incestual nature of these movies. Uh, but I like continuity, and there's just enough of that in Black Panther, but you don't need any other movie 
to know what it was or what it, you know. Oh fuck! Um, so a lot of people good. are saying we, Winter Soldier, and that, I've heard a lot of people recommend. Uh, that word. was good. I'm, I don't think it's. As, I don't think it's that great. I was debating. I thought, I thought it was entertaining. Debating putting that in my top three. I like the. I, I honest. I liked the first Captain America. I don't. I don't love it, but I. I, I enjoyed that, too. Um, but uh, I. I liked all the Captain America movies. I thought those were fine. Guys, we fucked up though. We didn't put Captain Marvel in any of our lists, and Brie Larson's <laughs> gonna get oh, so shit. fucking. Fuck. Screwed over oh, if God. we don't do the right thing and say that we should all support uh, Captain Marvel and her oh new show God. on Netflix. Oh, Are you no. doing a bit? Uh, yeah, people get real <laughs> mad if you don't support Brie. Shit. I'm sorry. I We didn't mean to do that, sorry, guys. Sorry, Brie. Hey, Brie, uh, if you're watching, we're sorry. I, uh, no joke, saw an article. I didn't see Captain Marvel, but I saw somebody I write an article about it, and the headline was... Captain Marvel is just okay, and it's good that it's just okay. What? <laughs> what? It's a bad review. Yeah, and it was like we need we need to have these movies be able to be not great. What? I That's... didn't really understand the logic there, but this was legitimately See, what the article was about. Brie oh, played okay. it perfectly, right along the lines. It's a bit split. Just okay. Derek didn't mean to say that. He meant to say it was a great film. Yeah, sorry. Netflix. I'm just or fucking just... quoting an article I read. Derek, quit bringing it up. Fuck. Sorry, it's guys. It's sorry. Fun. Meg, I didn't mean to offend it, you. I am. I already told Brie. <gasps> Damn it. They know each other personally. Yeah. Damn. You know, I, it's so funny. <laughs> I knew this ahead of time. I knew this ahead of time. Uh -huh. In Shazam, they kept, like, dancing around. They kept, like, coming up with names for him. Yeah, and like dancing around what his superhero name should be, and it didn't even occur to me till after I saw it. I was like, "Oh yeah, it's the whole Captain Marvel thing." That was his name. Yeah, that, that's that was. They his just name. didn't say it in the movie. That was weird. They wait, gave it wait, over. What happened? I'm sorry. That, Shazam, like that hero's name in the original was Captain Marvel. Like there was a whole like I think there was a whole legal debate, right? Oh. I think that DC they both had named a Captain it, Marvel. Yeah, DC named their character Captain Marvel first, technically. Before Marvel was like calling themselves Marvel Comics. Oh, okay. Huh. So, that, but they've detached themselves from that name, so they don't call them that. No, they don't call them that. But I was like, why do they keep? They can't settle on a name, and it's like, oh, that's probably the gag here. Okay, now it, final question. Yeah. There's 22 movies. Which is the most average of them all? If you had to rank them all, the what's the average? movie that's right in the middle? Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Yeah. Really? Legitimately? <laughs> wow. I, yeah, I seen it might be. It you might guys be. haven't seen Captain Marvel. I did. Oh, okay. And it's the most middle of the road, one of them all. It's pretty middle of the road. Anyone's origin story, like, I'll say Black Panther's good, but it's like, for me, it's just kind of middle of the road because it's just another origin story. Um, See, I didn't feel that way about it. I didn't, I, I felt like they fast forward through all that shit. Like, that dude is, like, there's, there's a flashback at the beginning and then that dude's Black Panther. Uh, so that's why I liked it. So I don't know. A lot of people in the chat are saying Ant Man. Okay. Ant Man. I is... forgot I saw Ant Man. Yeah, I've, I've seen a bull. And I've seen Ant Man and Wasp. I too. saw Ant Man and Wasp. It was but not Ant Man. Good, but not super memorable. Funny though, they they add yeah. anything since Guardians. They've added this gun esque humor to uh, like every movie they've made since those, the first Guardians. Um, what's middle of the road? Uh, <laughs> Spider -Man, Iron Man 3. <laughs> Iron Man 3. What's the first like team up? Uh, Avengers, Age of Ultron? What was before Age of Ultron? Uh, the first Avengers. 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 Okay, that's the most <laughs> middle of the road. The first Avengers. I, yeah, you know what? The first Avengers. First team yeah, up. Yeah, I thought it was just okay. I honestly really, you know, a lot of people talk shit on Age of Ultron. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, going I, to Sokovia. I, I, liked I enjoyed that. it. I liked each Avengers thing more, personal, just personally. <laughs> Um, I thought the last one was by far the best of those yeah, three, good. but I, I, I liked it. I don't know. The, this is weird territory for me, though, because I've never been like, I got to see this when it right when it comes out. I've never. Endgame? But, but I actually, I want to see Endgame like right when it comes out. We, well, I do. Because I don't want to fucking hear about it. I don't want anyone to do a stupid meme that spoils it. I don't. Didn't so it's like, no, I kind of want to, I kind of want to see it the first day. Just so I, you, didn't you know. didn't pre-order the tickets. Yeah, we're oh, fucked, I didn't dude. I said that, I said that, I said that on Twitter. I said that on Twitter. I've never pre-ordered movie tickets. Some people took that as an attack, like. Oh, we're fucking nerds because we did, and it's like no, I, no, I honestly just don't. I've never had to. It's I, not I, a necessity. 
uh, I go when I go see a movie the day one. I just go, and and it might be crowded, but I've never had an issue. Like I, I go. We don't um, live in L.A. or New York. So yeah, that and helps. so that's what I think it was because I remember uh, when Dark Knight came out, people I knew in San Francisco couldn't like see it for a month. <laughs> like seriously, for a month, it was like, no, you you don't have tickets. You're fucked. That's it. Sold out. So yeah, I don't think it's a big issue here. I think San Diego spread out enough. You know that yeah. we we have plenty of options. So anyway. was uh Civil War good? Um I yeah. didn't love it, but I don't think it was bad. Uh, that that's a that yeah, there there's some Civil awesome War. shit in it, but overall I thought it was okay. I like Civil War. It's good. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at the list here and I thought there were a lot more, but it yeah, it just seems like everything we're talking about. You know, for 22 movies, I feel like we would have forgot to mention one. We, we pretty much covered all of <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of did. <laughs> the, and the older ones fall off, oh, the, I think, because they're older, too. Because, like, I don't care about any of the Iron Mans, really, anymore. Yeah. I could tell you one we haven't even brought up at all. They what? started it. The Edward, Edward Norton Hulk. Yeah, that's the one that nobody's mentioned. The Hulk. Yeah. The Incredible He Hulk. did that movie. I about the no one really Hulk, cared though. about it. And then Edward Norton vanished. Gone. Never came back. Now they got Ruffalo. <laughs> all right. I'll, la I'll list all the movies one by one. You tell me thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sure. All right. We're going to go down the list, everybody. This is going to be the definitive ranking of the all these films. definitive ranking. All right. Here we go. Starting with number one, Iron Man. First one. Uh, thumbs, <laughs> thumbs up. I'll get, I, not a, not a comp, not a big thumbs first up. First movie. Here we go. Iron Man. We talk about the first one. <laughs> I don't know, I want to make sure I'm given the right vote here. We're starting with Iron Man 3. It was, <laughs> Iron Man. Thumbs yeah, up or thumbs down? It wasn't. You know what? I remember seeing it with you, Derek, and it was kind of the beginning. It was kind of like, eh. Yeah. Retread, but I do like Robert Downey Jr. I had a good time. Everybody in the chat, you can put the name of the movie and stocks up or stocks down to get your vote in there. Rocco gives it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Meg, have a, you yeah. seen it? No. Okay, that's a that's a middle thumb. <laughs> and Garrett says thumbs down. Yeah, All right. First one though, right? Damn. First one. All right, yeah. Thumbs Just down. Be clear. No, we're going down. two first. <laughs> All right. Next, the Incredible Hulk. Th down. Okay, the unanimous thumbs down from <laughs> yeah. everybody. Yep. All right, Iron Man two. M fucking thumbs down. Way How down. far down can it go? <laughs> down. All right. Way down. Thumb okay. Up your ass. Uh, Thor. Thor one. Down. Uh, and I didn't even outright hate it, but I it's like not Thor. worth. Garrett says thumbs up. Rocker says thumbs down. Yeah, you Loki in there okay. too. Okay. So far, these movies are bad. More bad than they bad. are good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Captain America: The First Avenger. Thumbs up. I liked it. Yeah. I like I like the old timey shit in it. You like okay. Red Skull too. It was all in. The okay, 40s. everybody pretty much gives that one a thumbs up. That was a good movie. I like that. Movie. Okay, yeah. that's the first unanimous good movie I think yeah. here. Uh, Marvel's The Avengers. It's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a not a big thumbs up, but I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> a medium Iron, thumb. Iron Man three. I don't even remember. No, I don't think I ever saw. Does it. Pepper Potts put on the suit in that one? Uh, that was the one with Ben Kingsley. And yeah, his I never house saw collapses. It. Yes, and okay, that one's good. I like that. Hey, one. in the Snake chat, in we're going through these so Solidus, fast. Yeah. If you're in the chat, you have to put the name of the movie and your vote. Don't just put thumbs up, yeah. thumbs down. We don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, and if we talk about Iron Man, it's the first one, guys. <laughs> thumbs up. All right, Iron Man three, thumbs down. No, no, I gave it a up on that one. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Thor: The Dark World. Down. <laughs> okay, that one sucks. Captain America: Winter Soldier. Up. Up. All right, that one. I think good. the Captain America movies, all of them are pretty solid. Yeah, I don't, I don't love them as much as other stuff, but they're all solid. You haven't seen any of these? All Meg? solid. No. Wow. Guardians of the Galaxy. Up. Oh, I've seen uh, that one. Up. I'd still give it an up. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I've, I've seen that one, and I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Avengers: Age of Ultron. Yeah, I, I give it too. an up. I give it a thumbs up. I liked it. Thumbs up. Okay. Ant Man. Never saw it. I'll, I'll go with the up. We're getting it's into a the, small up. the comedy realm now. I small like it. up. I get it. <laughs> Meg, up. I get it. So uh, most of the early ones suck. Though, uh, it seems like most of phase one sucks. It's dated. Yeah. It's so dated. Now. Yeah. yeah. Dated. And then uh, beginning of phase two sucks, but the second half of phase two was pretty good. Phase three starts with Captain America Civil War. Yeah. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Doctor Strange. 
thumbs up. I uh, love Doctor Strange. That's a good one. I fucking love that. That's okay. a good origin story there, I think. Yeah, because it isn't the traditional shit. He's I not, really liked it. He's not Superman. He's a fucking like, necromancer of, he's a of the mystic th- arts. He's a, he's a weird doctor. It's Eastern. I like. I get into Eastern shit. Okay, okay. Eastern shit? Yeah, Eastern mysticism and uh-huh. shit. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Th- down. down. Fuck you. It's cool parts, but I'm over it. Although... Phase 3 misstep. I get weepy when... There's some sad parts. Spider-Man yeah, I like Homecoming. The down. Up. Down, down, oh, down. split. <laughs> Chat. Spider-Man Homecoming. We're going to have to throw this one to you. I'm gonna, I know I'm going to get roasted. <laughs> Spider-Man roasted. down. Homecoming. People yeah. It's going to be homecoming. all thumbs up. Eat shit. Eat oh, shit. Uh, Godfather thumbs down. Who was that? Ban that. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck said that? See, Ryan there's like no, there's almost no thumbs down on Spider-Man. No, there's, it's pretty mixed. It's you pretty mixed. So? Yeah. It's mixed. I just, yeah. Okay, this one, it's split. A little bit heavier towards up. Thor Ragnarok. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do give it a thumbs up. I, I don't. I don't love it, yeah. but I, I thought it was good. Okay. Thumbs up. Black Panther. Thumbs yeah. up. Big thumbs up for me. Big thumbs I up. Like okay. Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up. That's like uh, everyone's favorite. Apparently. Thanos. <laughs> you got that Brolin in there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos is one of my favorite villains, so I love that. Ant Man and Wasp. Didn't see it. I'll give you another thumbs up. It has a comedy element there. You saw it, right, Derek? Didn't you see that? I saw it, but I never saw the first Ant-Man, and I felt like I maybe should have. Yeah. <laughs> it <Yeah>. was okay. <laughs> yeah. You're like, why is this guy on house arrest? I was. Yeah. Then literally, I, they kept being like, well, you remember what you did in Germany. That's why you're a house arrest. I was like, what the fuck happened? And that's not, even, hey, that's not even the first Ant-Man. That's from Civil War. Uh, I didn't fucking know what happened in Germany, and the dude <laughs> can't leave his house. And I'm like, I'm fucking lost. Germany <laughs> isn't even from the first film. How what? funny. Jeez. Yeah, you really need to go in deep. Uh, uh, but my problems, I, I thought it was okay because I thought like the motivation for the villains was kind of weak. Ah, uh, you know, see that's that right there is why I like Infinity War. I like Infinity War because I think I thought Thanos is a great villain. But I why I liked Black Panther so much, Derek, yeah. is specifically its villain. You fucking understand, like every step of why he's doing what he's doing. He's you're going, on the you're going, man. This guy sucks. Man, though, I see why he's doing this. You're rooting I for see him? what yeah. he's you're not even rooting for it because what he's doing is too far. Like yeah. you can't get behind it, but you're like, I get why he's doing it though, man. That's fucked up. I get it. I get <laughs> and that's why I enjoyed it. It really was like huh. you know, that's what I dug about it. Both both Infinity War and Black Panther, both I liked because the villain was just so like, oh man, I'm with I'm with them. I they they gotta die, but I'm I, I hear it. Yeah, Ant-Man and Wasp, I felt like everything was just a miscommunication. I felt like put all these people in the room and just have them talk it out. Why do they gotta fight? Just talk, which is stupid, but <laughs> literally it's like you're you enemies, can... but you're not. Like just ask for help. Whatever. Uh Captain Marvel. I okay, thumbs it. up. Didn't see it. Liked it. Like, it was it was so fun to have a Nick Fury movie. Like, there's a first act that's all just a spy film with Nick Fury and Captain Marvel. So Samuel L. and uh, Brie just killed it. <laughs> I got nothing but positive things to say, Netflix. Good okay, job. And that's all of them. <laughs> Avengers Endgame will be out later this month, and then Spider-Man Far From Home in July. And I'm Our, looking forward to both of those. And that's the beginning of Phase 4. It's the new Spider-Man. Nice. We moved into Phase 4. I never, Jesus. I never thought. I really, like I said before, I never thought I'd do it. But I, I'm, I think I'm gonna see Endgame like right when it comes out. So I'll let, I'll let uh, you all know. Rocco's I'll, I'll come there. around. <laughs> no, uh, you know Fuck. what? Everybody seems to unanimously agree that Phase One is garbage. Yeah, and that is one I checked out. Like, yeah, uh, oh I, yeah. Maybe I was just soured from the beginning and then never gave because everybody seems to like the later but, ones. But you know what, Derek? Consider what was happening at that time. Everyone was throwing in their chips on the comic book thing, and yeah. no one was doing it. You know what I mean? No one was doing it right. You know, it's like okay, you know, Batman Begins came out before that, and at that time, you know, it, and not, the X Men movies not say, and the Spider Man movies. Yeah, and like there were things to like about it, but it, everyone was trying to do their same ass origin story. And Iron Man, listen, I really like Robert Downey Jr. I was entertained by that by him in that movie. There was lots to be entertained by in that movie, I thought, but it really was the same shit in terms of like. You know, you oh you 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 have to learn this. Oh, you did. Well, now you can fly. You know, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, know, but I but, but I enjoy mech shit, and I enjoyed Robert Downey Jr. So I still I still dug I it. I think at the that time. I was burnt out on Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe because I was 
sick of the X Men trilogy, yeah, yeah Spider Man trilogy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman at that point, yeah. and uh, Scott Pilgrim had already come out at that point. I don't, I don't know. How did I, I don't I, know about it, that at that point. I was around that time. Yeah, I I'm thought, talking, that, I'm, I thought that was a I'm few years I'm generally later. saying Phase One era. Sure, of, sure, of sure. Marvel movies. Sure. Uh, cool. Well, yeah, there you. There I wonder you if there's. There you, know, you have there's it. so many more uh, like super comic book movies outside of the MCU that are just even Marvel properties. Yeah, Logan and uh, yeah, all the X Men stuff. You know, what was what was Fantastic the biggest misfire and all that stuff? Oh yeah, what was the biggest mi- oh, kick ass? Now Is that, that image that cracks me up because the first kick ass did pretty good. Yeah, I. I I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It was all right. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And then it's so funny. Then they did Kick-Ass 2. And it was like, fuck off. I mean, <laughs> it was like, it made people mad how bad it was. <laughs> and then didn't it have, there was something in it that was like really horrific or something. Oh, I don't know. Really? Or they made cuts to, what was it? Didn't Jim Carrey even say something? Like he said, like, don't. I think there's oh, a God, lot of gun violence right. in it, maybe. Yeah. He is huh. in that. And wh- what was the deal? Jim Carrey said to, like, not see it or something. Jeez, Fuck, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was gun violence. What was it, it? was It was yeah. around the time uh, people were getting a little sick of fucking public shootings. Oh. Yeah. And that, gun ha- th- that movie had a ton of gun violence. Yeah. And, and Jim he, spoke out. He refused to promote it because Sandy Hook just happened. And he was like, oh. you know what? No, I'm not feeling it right now. Yeah. Shit. And then they were like... Because his character was like the Patriot Daddy, and yeah. he had all the fucking arsenal <laughs> with him. There's some people saying Jim Carrey sucks now. I've, I, yeah, uh, better I, than ever. I was just thinking, yeah, because there was an interview the other day. Jim Carrey has He's entered a don't give ever. a fuck phase He's of got his fuck life, you money. And he no longer cares, and I love that. He was on the red carpet <laughs> for something the other day, and they interviewed him. So you're, you're going to be in Sonic the Hedgehog soon, yeah? Because he's, he's Robotnik in the new Sonic movie. Oh and they said, so was that a game that really meant a lot to you? Did you play that a lot? And he went, ah, well, I'm going to lie and say I did. <laughs> I'm going to lie and say it was a classic. Um, and, I mean, he just oh, not air. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> hey, you know what? Other movies that had already burnt me out at that point. Huh. Uh, yeah. Like Daredevil had come out. Yeah, fuck oh, that. Yeah. Electra. Oh, yeah. uh, there's so many more comic Cat movies. Yeah. Than just yeah, Catwoman. There had was come more out. bad than good for sure. Uh, Alien versus Predator, which is based on a comic, but there it you is, go. is more yeah. of a mashup. Hellboy. Hellboys are good. Hellboy. Though. Yeah, I didn't really like the first Hellboy. The no. Guillermo Hellboys are good. I didn't. I didn't care. I, I never cared for Hellboy, but I think it's insane what is happening right now. The full oh, reboot that they did this fucking reboot that got slaughtered oh it didn't, did yeah. didn't do oh bombed in the box office oh wait it's already out it came yeah. out this week. it's going up against oh, shazam no. came out this weekend bombed reviews terrible and i just think why didn't they just make its fans happy and let guillermo do the third one with i'm not even the invested original in actor yeah. but but this new reboot doesn't even look different it looks like the same shit yeah. but not done as well so why didn't they just have that bring that crew back I can't fathom. Someone else wants to make some money. I can't fathom <laughs> it. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, Ron Perlman is Hellboy to me, and this guy looking and he was just like close he was waiting enough. to do it. Yeah, yeah, he, he looks the part because it all looks like you're saying exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. and that kind of is disinteresting hey, to me. You ever see Thirty Days of Night? That's yeah, a, that's a I good mentioned movie. that earlier. I said, hey, shouts out. Does anyone like Thirty Days of Night? I do. That Stephen Niles. Uh, I remember my that, brother. Yeah. Went and saw it on a whim, and he was like, "Dude, that was that movie was awesome. Good but adaptation. I, I never saw it. I never Thirty saw Days it. of Night rules. Yeah, that one. That one might that be one up gets in the a top thumbs up. Five. <laughs> thumbs up for me. I got a, a master list of every movie based on a comic. Wow. Oh wow. Huh? But we don't have to go through it because there's a lot uh, of shit well, we on can here. we can talk about it. Whatever. Um, I did not. I did not like Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. That was one that everyone recommended to me, and I know people who who worked on it. Well, I know. I mean, I know most of the people who worked on the game. And I thought they did a great job with the game. Game was amazing. Uh, game was, game was everything it should have been. Um, but that, oh yeah, the, that game rules. But I thought the no, movie was tr- yeah. just trying way too hard to like. Yep, yep, yeah, gaming, yeah, okay. Like ju- again, I hate all that comic transition shit. It was shit. too like uh, uh, high octane. Yeah, <laughs> it just needed to hey, shut up. I'm your uh, roommate. I fuck. 
it and worked. It was, like, it was very in your face. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Some of that kind of like high energy anime type directing in a live action movie. Um, I remember seeing Speed Racer and for the first 20 minutes, I was like, tone that shit down. But as the movie went on, Speed Racer started to use that energy for its action and it fueled the story. So I loved Speed Racer. By the end of that movie, I was like, fuck, that was a great movie. Um, I, I didn't feel like Scott Pilgrim made that transition until the last like 10 minutes. Because the last 10 minutes of Scott Pilgrim was pretty cool. But it, I spent the rest of that movie going, stop. Um, Spider-Verse, it never bothered me. I never, Spider-Verse to me had defined its own style so well that, and I thought it had control of it so well that I never batted an eye. I thought it was great. So anyway, that's all. Uh, shit. There's so many movies. Here. <laughs> it's not even worth there's it. A what lot. about the spirit? Did it's anyone see like the spirit? Atomic Blonde, Blade. Actually, I like the first Blade movie. Well, yeah. the second Blade. Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. Okay. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Blade. Wait, you Blade, Blade two? two? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. dude, don't right, get me. Right. Don't get me started. Read right. the review on that. <laughs> uh, knows let me how tell to you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And he let does it well. You what Constantine, I think remember that? About Blade Cowboys Two. Cowboys, aliens, the crow, Daredevil. Oh, the crow. That's crow? up there. Too. Deadpool. Forgot about that. Deadpool's not MC. Deadpool was another one. Uh, Deadpool so was one that everyone told me, dude, Rocco. I thought that movie was gonna be annoying and dumb. Go see it. It's actually pretty good. And then I got about half an hour into it, and it was every bit as bad as I thought it would be. Oh. Uh, gonna, oh, look, oh, he's just eating Thanksgiving dinner out of my butt. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, he's going to eat Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, de- oh, Colossus is sad. Shut the fuck up. No, Turn this fucking garbage off. Hey, hey, I'm with you. Uh, I liked it. They posted Deadpool on Facebook the week it came out. Uh, Full movies on Facebook. What? So I thought, well, fuck, it's on Facebook. Started watching it. <laughs> yeah. Colossus is fucking sad. Turn that shit uh, off. Yeah, I turned oh, it off. Oh, the guy the who's made part. out of metal has fucking emotional uh, problems. Give me a fucking break. Uh, he's oh, he's going to do, oh, he's got to do salt and pepper song. He's going to say bad words. No. Shut uh, the no. fuck up. You didn't give it a chance. What about Devil? Uh, d- I never got that. The Daredevil. kids are gonna hand out peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What about Daredevil? T- t- at the Oscars. Uh, hey, uh, what, what about we, Devil May Cry? Thumbs what? up or thumbs down on Ghost Rider? Oh, da- way down. <laughs> that That's... one. That one goes all the way around the world to maybe a thumbs up. But I yeah. never saw it. But there's no way Nick Cage could pull that off. Uh, <laughs> Green Lantern. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck no! Thumbs down. No. Come on, Michelle Gondry. Never saw those. Wait, what? He directed one of those? No, wait. Uh, oh no! no he, yeah, Green he Lantern. did Green Hornet. Green Hornet. Yeah. Oh, with Seth Rogen. Uh, some cool directing, that. but I don't remember liking it. I can't remember though, honestly. Green Lantern was uh, Ryan Reynolds before Deadpool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a Nick Fury made-for-TV movie with David Hasselhoff. Yeah, I remember that. That's like yeah. from the '80s, Nick yeah. Fury. Yeah. Oh, but what boy. about the Hulk, Hulk. show? With Lou Ferrigno. Oh, classic. Oh, That's thumbs up, I think. That's Lou a Ferringo? thumbs up for me. Lou yeah, Ferringo. No, classic. Yeah. Hey, and speaking of TV, uh, the let's not forget the best comic book TV show of all time, Japanese Spider-Man series, where Spider-Man was a transforming hero. He would actually, he had a morpher and did henshin, spider henshin, who would transform, wow. and he had a giant robot. <laughs> Hell yes, that was the best. What was the and robot they, called? I forget. A I forget. Fernoid? I can't remember. Maybe somebody in the chat. Yeah, Leopardon. Is that was that the name of the robot? Either way, Leopardon. Yes. Be- and I, you know what? They referenced Leopardon in the video game. It's no. in there. It's canon. He has that robot. In, in, uh, yeah. No. Thumbs I'm up in. or thumbs down for Jonah Hex? I never saw that. Oh, thumbs oh, down. I major think thumbs down. Turd, I think I got that for free somehow. Somehow. That's a thumbs down. Uh, Justice League. No, oh, never saw no. that. Uh, did I see? No, I didn't see Justice League. I saw Batman versus see, Superman. I'm a DC oh, hater. What about this? Uh, Kingsman. People the, like Kingsman? Uh, you know what? Uh, Kingsman was good until the anal sex joke that made me real uncomfortable. Uh, what? There, all these fucking English What's people are obsessed with buggering up the arse. <laughs> and there's this. A, the, a, the movie is great. 
he gets the girl, saves her, and then and then he the says, end, "Let me put it in your bum." Basically, <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. Yes. No, Marco? you're absolutely right. Right? He just had really? a flashback. Yeah. It took me out. <laughs> what it took me fuck? out. It's like after credit scene. <laughs> I was <laughs> joking. Like, yeah. No. And you're saying you want a bit of fanny. Oh, Gary Ooh. is totally right. I'm ready. Hey, Mr. Kingsman. After credit scenes here, I'm ready to get buggered in the arse. <laughs> what Holy is with these shit. fucking prints? Yeah. And then yeah. is that uh, the golden they circle. Had... No, the no. second one I watched on the a plane. The second one they had uh, Elton John in it, so there's yeah. probably what anal the sex jokes in there John, too. Elton John, Elton <laughs> John. I didn't get the, but the buggering and that whole thing that was going on in the first one, it, there's callback because that character's in the second one, so I guess it works out. They fell in love. I'm just not. <laughs> I don't. I I don't know what it is. I am allergic to spy shit, so that I could not make it through that. It doesn't make I'm you not horny, into James baby. Bond or any of that. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen sucked. Oh, I that was won. that <laughs> was awful. That was awful, but it was worth it for the press. When when uh, uh, that was like the last press that Sean Connery really did for a movie, and he spoiled the movie. So he went on Good Morning America, and they were like, "So is there going to be a sequel?" And he goes, "Well, uh, I die, <laughs> but there's sort of an escape clause." All right, thanks. Uh, <laughs> spoiler. So that was funny, but the movie uh, sucked. Men in Black, obviously. First one's good. I love the first Men in Black. I, I'm not gonna say I love. I've never loved it, but it's a good movie. Yeah, I, but Joffrey. I didn't need any more. I didn't. I need watched anymore. it again, like last year. Yeah, still good. Good makeup effects. Yeah, on, I'm not gonna say. I mean, main I bug it's a good there. movie. Uh, <laughs> but I don't need any more. I don't. I don't need any of these sequels personally. We don't need number four. I thought one. One was fine. That said everything. I thought. Hmm. What else we got? Punisher. I know Rocco likes Punisher. The Warzone. Thomas, the Thomas Jane Punisher, is definitely is def. I would say is like a little bit mystery science theater level, but I fucking enjoy it. I love that movie. Did you mm -hmm. see Punisher Warzone? Yeah. Not as good. Uh that was really trying to go over the top. A little too much for my taste, but for a direct, it was a direct to video movie, oh, okay. and for that, it was pretty good. We've got R.I.P.D. Lit. And then Red and Red 2. No, well, I don't even know what those no. are. Wasn't that like the old people? Red. Old people or assassins? Oh, they dusted off um, Bruce Willis and... Uh, <laughs> they dusted him. Yeah. yeah. They dusted him off. <laughs> little chammy on his little head there. Shining What's our up. opinion on Richie Rich, uh, the Richie Rich movie? Oh, fuck what? yeah. Oh, it's a comic. Wow. I, I, I have to bring this up just out of respect, <laughs> but I still, one of the funniest things that's ever happened in my life was when we were kids all watching <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie was on the screen and my aunt walked in the room. This is when we were all 12, me and all my cousins. My aunt walked in the room and said, oh, you guys watching Richie Rich? And Dominic, without missing a second, went, no, it's Pori Poor. <laughs> when I was 12, that was the funniest Charlie thing I'd no ever money. heard. No, it's Pori Poor. We uh, laughed about that for th days. There's a Tom Tom Hanks movie, The Road to Perdition. I saw that yeah, movie. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to, and I never saw it. It's based on a on a graphic novel. Graphic yeah, novel. All right. It's like a gangster film. It's it's not bad. I've mm -hmm. seen it. I give that one a thumbs up. Okay. Scott Pilgrim, thumbs down. Down. I go up. Just overall, it's okay. What else we have here? Sin Sin City. We already talked about that. Which one? Second one? First one. <laughs> what about, hey, do you guys ever see the Spawn movie? Yeah, I never I do. do. I, I don't do know. Like I don't know Spawn. like jack shit about Spawn. I really don't. I saw I don't that movie. I liked it. it when I was like 10. Yeah, it I has. I do aged. not think I'd like it now. The CG has not aged well. <laughs> yeah. Clown yeah. keeps. Tra it's John Leguizamo and he yeah. keeps transforming and stuff in it. It's just god awful. All right, everything. I need the chat to weigh in on this one and you guys can too. But okay. Rock already brought oh. it up. The Spirit 2008. Oh. Was that good or not? I, I remember there that. was like. Someone was hot in that movie, but that's it. I'll, that's all I remember. Spirit. I remember thinking maybe that's who it was. Hey, Someone was back, hot. Back to Spawn, though. I think Frank Miller directed that, didn't he? That's See, that. yeah. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell you. Well, uh, back yeah. to the Spawn thing, though. You talked about a comic book maker wanting to direct his own thing. Yeah. They're remaking Spawn right now, and Todd McFarlane is set to yeah, direct. Yeah, that's what it was. So that's okay. like... Another case of where maybe that'll work out, or maybe <laughs> this is his first foray. So, you know what? I think movies and filmmaking are pretty similar as far as like visual story. You mean com mediums. comics and filmmaking? Yeah, yeah, okay. movies and filmmaking. I mean, comics and filmmaking. Yeah. Uh, so, if you can make a good comic, you know, maybe that'll translate over to making a good movie, but 
I do think that, you know, Frank Miller kind of failed. So maybe, yeah, I think it takes like, uh, it, you need to be earlier in your career. If you've been doing comics for 30 years, you suddenly want to start making movies, I, I'm skeptical as to how good you can do it. Well, you know, I, th I remember we had that conversation about Hideo Kojima at one point where we were talking about, you know, oh, he, you know, he should, because everyone always says he should direct a film, do a film. And it's kind of like, you know what though? But he mastered the video game realm and it is different making a movie. So who knows if he, you know, maybe, maybe that, maybe that'd be a harder transition than people make, you know? But then at the same time, I think his well, shit like films. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say too, like pretty much we've seen pretty much a death stranding movie at this point. Just no one, no one's trailers. played the game, but he keeps putting out these shorts yeah. that are uh, essentially I'm watching them like a movie. So maybe it wouldn't be so hard of a jump, but anyway, do you guys like the original be. Superman? No. From the 70s? You know what? I've never loved it. I've never loved it. I don't I don't dislike it, but I, it never really was my favorite thing. I did I think, think the second I like the second one more. I did like the Superman second one. Superman 2, 1980? Yeah. I did like that one more. I don't know how extensive that list seems pretty extensive, it's huge. but I'm skipping a shit ton. I, I saw I don't know if you skipped this, but I saw a Kurt Dog mentioned in the chat the Ninja Turtles movies. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm. Which I think so. Yeah, the first Ninja Turtles I think we're only up to S. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, I, I don't. I didn't realize. Yeah, like Kevin Eastman's Ninja yeah. Turtle comic. You know, the, those movies are all based off a comic. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's also Tank Girl. Anybody? Seen oh that? yeah. I, no, I never saw. I Tank do Girl. love myself the first or the only yeah. Tank Girl movie they made. Ninja Turtles. Hmm. Uh, For I like. Uh, you know, I I loved the second one when I was a kid, especially. I liked the first two. Yeah. But I I haven't revisited those in a while. So I ha I have recently. Uh huh. I think the first one, Derek, you should watch now. Yeah. The first one, you, I think you'll enjoy. Yeah. It is, it was an independently made movie outside the studio system. They just had a distributor, like New Line distributed it. And you could tell it's done with such, um, like they really tried to shoot it really well. Yeah. And there's like really noir looking shit in it. And uh, it's, it, I think it actually kind of holds up. It's, it's, I, I don't know. It, it's actually a competent movie. And then you watch two, two was like, fucking feast of the eyes for me when i was a kid i love to and then you watch it now and you go oh this is a big dumb kids movie yeah that's kind of what i got yeah but when i was a kid it was okay because it was closer yeah. to the cartoon so i enjoyed it but it's not now it's like eh. but three was never good one, i didn't like it then or now one kind of does the dark knight approach that it's rooted in reality yeah it, it really is it, it doesn't go crazy with the mutants or the yeah. you know anything like that whereas two it's like yeah no let's go full jim henson and make all right movie. now we got something to talk about the yeah. wolverine movies okay where do we Ooh. stand on those thrill me we're not counting x-men <laughs> all all oh, fuck down you. all thumbs down logan listen everyone told me oh but logan rocco logan is a work of art it was another fucking x-men movie <laughs> however it was for that it was pretty good so I, I give that one of the thumbs up. Not a confident thumb. I, I'm not in love with He's it. But Logan, Logan was well executed. But any other Wolverine S starting thing. Starting with Logan. There's Wolverine, uh, okay. X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and that then sucks. the Wolverine. That was good. And then Logan. Uh, and then you kind of got to count Days of Futures Past. Because okay. that's almost all a plot is Wolverine. Yeah, and there's well, those are all the X-Men movies. There's, yeah, there's <laughs> another X-Men yeah. movie that was really, really good. Uh, but... Yeah, I think the first Wolverine is not good. But second one, The Wolverine. You get this uh, Vietnam era, like him in Japan, kind of flashbacky stuff. Uh, Sabretooth, you got Liev Schreiber. That was good. The origin, the ex the Wolverine Origins game was great, though. Was better. Oh, even. yeah, we yeah. had a video about that. Uh, I enjoyed that. But, uh, but I was going to say real quick, of the X-Men movie, I never really loved the X-Men movies. I did like X2. Wolverine? Uh, I watch it now. No, no, just like of the X. X2. Oh. Oh. I guess I'm jumping United. ahead. But that X2 You're was all friends. about uh, Wolverine getting his adamantium put in. Right. In the, in the thing in Canada, yeah. I did ultimately like X2. I think nowadays it's a little too long. It's not great. But there's some cool... That opening with Nightcrawler invading the White House. Oh, yeah. Still a great scene. Still an amazing sequence, I think. Fantastic, I thought. Um... But there you go. Well, I like it. Um, I don't really care about the other ones either side of it. However, I will say I liked Days of Future Past because 
That was the most that the movies ever felt like just an episode of the old cartoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, hey, you're already in the thick of it. No origins. No, no nothing. Preamble. It's we're in the middle of a fucking crazy time travel story. Yeah. And that was it. So I, li- I liked it. Did you it. like First Class? No. Didn't enjoy that at all. Uh, I. But I liked uh, the other one. I don't really like the First Class. I don't like the younger storyline of the X-Men very much. I mean, yeah. that's what that's what we have now. The Dark Phoenix is coming yeah, out now. Yeah, I don't care. They've made a few of these with these younger cast members, and that's kind of how they rebooted, but kept it in the same universe. Yeah, but uh, they're I, they're okay, but I don't really none of them stand out to me. And Days of Futures Past is actually the movie that kind of merges the two worlds. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I actually thought that was kind of neat, which is great. But but I don't like on their own the the origins or the uh, what about uh, Apocalypse. See, oh, that's horrible. That, that's the new cast. And as much as I love Apocalypse as a villain and couldn't wait for that, it just didn't, it wasn't as good. No, it was terrible. The uh, Apocalypse is a, a, another one of my favorite villains. Yeah. I love all the like God villains in these, in these comic yeah. stories. So there's Thanos and I loved Apocalypse. And so why was it Oscar Isaac dressed like Ivan Ooze? <laughs> <laughs> like they could have done anything. Thanos is how I pictured Thanos. Yeah. Like he's a fucking Titan. He's terrifying to stand next to Oscar Isaac painted purple. Why? <laughs> why? Who, who thought? Yeah, that'll be fucking dope. This God being, what should we do? We have Oscar Isaac, right? Yeah. Paint the fucker purple. What the fuck are you talking? He Supposed looks like blue. Ivan Ooze. He does. He look looks like, like Ivan Ooze. Oh, where are the teenagers? I'm going to turn you into slime. Ivan Get the Ooze. fuck out of here. What did they do? I love Apocalypse. Why did they do uh, that? They fucked that up. Yeah, I mean, it looks just <laughs> right? like Right? It looks like You had to look up Ivan Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. And now the new one, uh, Dark Phoenix, or... Can we get a shot of Ivan Ooze get a close-up of Ivan Ooze. Oh, my God. Ivan right? Ivan. He looks... Did you look up Apocalypse? All right. Now look up, up X-Men Apocalypse Oscar, or whatever. Oscar, Oscar Isaac Apocalypse. Isaac Apocalypse. Uh, X-Men. I mean, he, it, it looks so pathetic. He should have looked more like Thanos. He should have been then, a big dude, a yeah. bulky dude in a suit, and he should have been blue, not well, fucking purple. As soon as they oh, showed... Oh, fuck. He's a blue right? Ooze. Right? Look. Wait, show the... Oh, my God. Seriously. You, can't, you barely see it, but yeah, but, I guess uh, you're right. And I remember as soon yeah. as they showed that, as soon as they showed that, people online were like, hey, here's a cosplayer from last year's Comic-Con that looked like the perfect apocalypse. And it looked amazing. He had the whole, like... like lower fucking, jaw? Yeah, and he looked great. And it's like, that looks perfect. Why does the movie have a lower budget version of it? Like, what is a multi-million dollar movie? The director took a, you know creative stance people in the chat are a lot of people have compared apocalypse to ivan ooze yeah. it's not just you <laughs> not, no it's definitely not just me but somebody just pointed out in the chat maybe this is is this new to you guys you guys oh. i knew going in to the power rangers movie i'm not going to talk about the power rangers movie much but i knew going into the movie the guy that ivan ooze was belloc from raiders of the lost ark do other people not know that belloc did you know that no i didn't know that <laughs> That's Ivan Ooze. And uh, yeah, people in the chat are just, are just realizing it. He was the villain from Raiders of the Lost Ark. But that's what excited me when I went to the fucking Power Rangers convention and they got Ivan Ooze. I was like, great. I'm, I want a signature from the dude from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, so. Belloc, the nasty German from Raiders. The, oh, that nasty German. That nasty German, you know, from Rocco, Raiders of you the should, Lost Ark. You should cosplay as Ivan Ooze yeah. to a convention. Yeah, maybe. I've never, I, I've only cosplayed for fun to a convention one time. It's fun, like, right? Like we do it at Anime Expo as part of our gag. But that's but, for work. But just for genuine fun, I did it one time at D23 a year ago or two years ago. And I was the sleeping monk from Spaceship Earth. I, I, I dress as a monk and I went to it. I've already got mine planned for D23 this year. And so, it's going to be good. So it was fun. And you're going to have It was some, fun. You're going to have act- some more fun. It actually was. Yeah, it was fun. Nobody knew me from Mega64 or anything. It was just, hey, I love that you dressed like that. Thank you. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, it was just fun. It was like positive. It was great. So I'm going to. Really I got an even better one. It's. Way better, even way, more? way more photo worthy, and yeah. ten times lazier to make. So it, I'm stoked. Is it because I think the Sleeping Monk is a pretty obscure? You got to be like God tier yeah. Disney freak. But that's to what was. That. But that's what was great about it. I wasn't stopped every five feet. Yeah, th- about maybe 
20% of the people there knew who it was. If you've been to Disney World, you did know who it was. But most of the people there are Anaheimers. Yeah. Is that a name? So are you... uh, and they don't. But when they do, if you knew what it was, you freaked out. And and I got followed on Twitter by a bunch of Imagineers who liked nice. the costume. So yeah. it paid off. Are you going more obscure? Because like cosplayers yes. earn mega cool points by going with like crazy obscure. Like this is a this is from a only released in Japanese a yes. bullet hell shooter girl. But I'm in the manga. I'm not even yep. in the, <laughs> the the game version. My costume. Like, you going obscure? For this year's D23, my costume will probably get no, almost, I think maybe two people will probably, barely anyone will recognize it in person. But when pictures hit the internet, oh yeah, that's when everyone's going to go, did he, is that what he fucking is? It Are you online. kidding me? So that's what I'm going for. Less in person, more viral. Nice. Go, vi yeah, plan for going <laughs> viral. Anyway. Before you leave the house each morning, plan oh, well, for going viral. That's what I do. Were there more comic movies, Derek? Uh, we basically got to the end. We we kind of skipped to X Men, but uh, was, we covered all the main ones. Yeah, the good ones anyway. Uh, oh, list of French one? comic movies, movies based off oh, French comics. What do we think about the Smurfs film? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the Smurfs is a French that's comic. A, that's a thumb. Yeah, it was. I forgot about that. It was. There's a shit ton of French comics. Damn. Uh, what is it? Yeah, Tintin. Tintin. I never saw okay. Tintin. That's no, the didn't most do that famous shit. one. Not down with Babar. Garfield. Let's look at yeah, uh, movies Babar. based on manga. Fuck Babar. Babar. Yeah, we're not gonna do this. Yeah, yeah we, we got, got all the good ones. We got. We hit it. Best video game adaptation, though. Ooh. I still go Silent Hill. Uh, yeah. You know, people were talking about that the other day. I Golden think. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Eye. <laughs> I think that's good. Bro. I I don't even love the movie. I think I have to say Silent Hill. That's the closest to like Dude, they it got had the music. The, it had the atmosphere and yeah. it was a competent movie. It wasn't mm, a great movie. Mortal Kombat. Ooh. Yeah. Good another good music choice. Me, yeah, I mean maybe that one. Uh my favorite is Super Mario Brothers, but because I mean it's not a fucking good adaptation. Well, because of Toad's song. It's yeah. so bad that I like it. You know, but um, but Silent Hill probably, um, that uh, in terms of like manga, anime, whatever, yeah, I, I really personally didn't really like that Alita movie that came out. Uh, didn't love it. Thought it ended shitty. Um, just I thought it was a lot of noise. It kinda it kind of anime from the 80s had a tendency to do just that as well like yeah. have a fucking end like it just has this abrupt I just, end <laughs> i just thought it was a lot of noise i hated I the you. fucking love story i didn't I, there was a lot i didn't like but there was some cool stuff however Future, Future however when it was all said and done we were talking about it i was talking with kevin about it and it's like that's still probably the best anime manga adaptation i think it's it good. is there was still some good there was some great direct, like there was some good action in it, and for that alone, I think it still might be the best. Unfortunately, dang. Oh, Speed Racer, you're right. Speed Racer. I didn't even think about that. Sorry, fuck whatever I just said. Speed yeah. Racer. It's Speed Racer. <laughs> you want to go right. down the list of super of uh, movies based on video games? You can give the thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that I'd sounds love to. good to me. I've seen All a right. lot of these probably. Too. Super Mario. These are in chronological order, starting nice. in 1993. Super Mario Brothers. The first game. First movie. <laughs> oh, the first Super movie. Mario Brothers okay, yeah. is up. my all-time favorite so bad it's good movie. Yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah, love Speed Racer. And it's designed Speed, that... Rest, Speed Racer or Mario? Oh, sorry. Did I, what did I say? You said fuck yeah, Speed Racer. Oh, sorry. No, Mario. <laughs> Super Mario is okay. what I meant to say. But uh thumbs up to Mario Brothers. And yeah. it's designed the art design of that movie is the person who did Blade Runner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's good shit Better in that movie, Runner. but it's a bad movie. I mean, but I it's so bad I love it. Who's, so thumbs up. Is Rugger Hauer Koopa? Who's plays Koopa? Uh uh Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Oh, it is Dennis mm -hmm. Hopper. You're right. I don't know if anybody saw this one. Double Dragon. B uh no. thumbs down. Thumbs down. Brian says down. Oh. Street Fighter with Jean Claude hey. Van Damme. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh th that's a movie that gets brought up in the so bad it's good category. I don't even think it's fun to watch. That's a thumbs Street down. Street Fighter? For me. I don't yeah, uh, I think Street Fighter's boring. I, I'm I'm into it's so bad it's good. All right, Mortal Kombat. I give that one a thumbs yes, up. Yes, and I, I was never into Mortal Kombat. Uh, I was, so, no. yeah. and uh, <laughs> I've seen that movie so many times. But for, I understand. But you too. know what? Regardless, I'm not into it. But it is a good adaptation of that material. The second one, I had Reptile. I was Mortal so Kombat Annihilation. Into it. Thumbs down. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, Reptile was in that. I was in that no. one. Uh, who saw Wing Commander? <laughs> 
Ooh. Oh, what? I did in theaters, and and oh, and it's a turd. And why did you go see it? Was there a specific reason? Uh, because it was told to me by my friends. Yo, uh, this is made based off an old computer game. Oh, really? Well, fuck. We like video games. Let's go see it. Oh, that wow. was why I. Went I to thought it was going to be a different reason. The Star reason, Wars the reason trailer. I went. Yeah, it had the episode one trailer at a time where you could oh, at yeah. a time where you could not get this shit on the internet. It was like fuck. I'm going to see that. I might as well see the fucking movie because I'm going to see the Star Wars trailer. That might have had something to do with it, too. Yeah. Hmm. But I remember uh, being like, oh, this is on a, based on a video game? Well, fuck, yeah. I love video games. <laughs> Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. The, oh, no. No, no. Sorry, Angela. No yeah. Tomb Raider. Sorry. I just want to say this also has their box office revenue. And of the ones we've mentioned, that is the most successful. Tomb Raider? At that time, Tomb Raider in yeah. 2001 made $274 million. What? Oh, it's not even God. Circle of Life. Yeah. All wow. right. Resident Evil. Yes. No. First one. Boring. First one is the best one. I agree. Well, yeah, it is it the is best the of best the series. <laughs> okay. Uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider 2. Circle Cradle of Life. Life. Oh, Cradle of Life. Yeah. yeah, fuck all. Did anybody see House of the Dead? Wait. Oh, that was a Yuva U- Bowl movie, right? Yeah, no, I didn't see no, it. No, no, no. All right. Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yes. No. They, they, You're yeah. going to give all those a no, no, I'm not. I'm not. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> it started to... Go downhill with Apocalypse, Started. but I, I still give it a thumbs up. Okay. Uh, Alone in the Dark. That's another Uva That's Bowl. good. No. Nope. No, I like that. In the Light Tower. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Uh, Doom. I think that's no, the, the rock. Uh, that was a piece of shit, but I kind of enjoyed Mystery Science Theatering a, a little bit, you know, but still thumbs it up. It had first person segments and they referenced the BFG. Big. Fucking gone. <laughs> to hear? Yeah, The Rock says <laughs> to that. To hear The Rock say God. that was... Uh, that's like in the middle. Anybody me. who died in that movie oh. also would say something beforehand like, I gotta take a shit. And uh, it's like, okay, this what? Nice. <laughs> I think this next one is also Yuva Bolt. Uh, yes. Blood Rain? Yes. Oh, I saw that. Bad. Uh, bad. Yeah, okay. that's bad. That was Yuva Bolt. Silent Hill. I, yep. That's a pretty good movie. Yeah, so I, I think... I th- Personally, I think that's the best one, unfortunately. I think so, too. DOA, Dead or Alive? Yeah, the the, the oh, fighting right. game Dead or Alive. That's a Fuck turd. no. Terrible they, did they adaptation. Make that a movie? Yeah, yes, they did. They did, and it was no good. They, no. Postal. That, that, that was a U of Bowl movie. Thumbs down. Uh, that is the lowest box office on this list. Yeah. Worldwide box office, $146,000. Oh, no. <laughs> That's when people Dude, got Dave Foley's in that movie. They oh, figured out his uh, you know about that? gimmick. Yeah, Dave Foley. I, I've heard that. that but movie, they figured out... He maybe was, that's so bad it's good. Uh, no, I've heard that that's right around the time like he wasn't even trying anymore. Be, and people found out about how he was getting grant money through yeah, the tax, German a government. German tax uh, loop or something. Yeah, it was right around the end uh, for him. Okay, for, Resident this Evil This is all Extinction. allegedly, allegedly. Resident Evil Extinction is the first one I'm going to start giving oh. thumbs downs. Whoa. Whoa. He's just yeah. doing that for the In the camera. desert, it was bullshit. You tried to bring in Claire. I don't fucking give a Sorry, shit. Sorry, real quick. People in the chat are saying Dave Foley is full frontal nudity in Postal. What? I think I remember seeing that clip. Yeah. Like, so you see his dick. Oh, Kevin no. is a big ki- Kids in the Hall fan, so I'm sure he's excited about it. You say the, the where the kids come from. <laughs> uh, Scott Thompson's Kids in the in balls. There. Kids in the balls. <laughs> Did anybody see Dick Hitman? Yeah. Uh, not no. good. Okay. It's a kid from uh, Seventh Heaven. He's bald. Oh, I don't think that's him. But. It's the older son. <laughs> I don't. Think that was like that. Hitman Six. They no. made a lot of them. That's not. It's an uh, older son. In I the think. name of the king, a dungeon siege. That's tale. another Yuva Bowl movie. No, oh, fuck. Yuva Bowl had wait, a wait. racket for a oh, while my, there, man. man. That sucks. Far Cry? Is there a Far Cry film? There is. Uh, oh, I I want to say that was Yuva Bowl too. Oh my god. Thumbs down. What about? Are they gonna go Dungeons and Dragons with one it of the weigh-ins? Man, he's directed all these. Yeah. He he exploited a tax loop where he got all the. But they're all video games. Allegedly, yeah, that was his niche. He found Max Payne. That one is good. I think that's um. No. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. No. Yes. No. No. Yep. It has really good like demonic CG and stuff in it. It holds demonic up. CG. Demonic CG. Because <laughs> Max Payne is he's going demonic. Directed crazy. by Satan. He's, <laughs> he's seeing sixes <laughs> pop out. A lot everywhere. of sixes everywhere. <laughs> I give Max Payne, Mark Wahlberg a thumbs up. Demonic (laughs) CG. 
<laughs> I'm gonna skip these next two: Street Fighter, Legend of Chun Li, oh, and, and Tekken. No, no, fuck off. no. All right, Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. That fuck no, dustpan. thumbs down. Fuck Prince. That dustpan. was like being in a prison of the mind watching that. <laughs> shit. Oh, dustpan, dustpan, this. Dustpan I was three that. quarters uh, into that movie and I was like going to sleep. I'm fucking done. Good night. Uh, all right. Well, I have to tell you, as of its release here, that is the highest ranking box office. Pro it's Disney. Uh, well, dude. that was a Disney everything movie. we've mentioned so far. Well, that was the only one that was like a Disney. Actually, Mario was a Disney movie. Three hundred and thirty-six million dollars. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, it did pretty okay. Yeah, Jill and Hall factor. See, oh. Spider-Man: Homecoming is getting the Jill and Hall back factor back. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil Afterlife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, right. continuing with you want to give it a, no. You want to give it a still thing. continuing with them going. <laughs> that down. also you made three hundred million dollars worldwide. First two were the best. Uh, Resident Evil Retribution. It keeps <laughs> it keeps going down. That was like Resident Evil Retribution was like, hey, let's cosplay all of the guys. Like, let's get Barry in there, and then let's throw one of the villains from five. Let's throw some Los Humanados from four. <laughs> Uh, let's just Galermo. just a big hodgepodge scrap heap of everything from the games to try to appease the fans. <laughs> we'll make Wesker, you know, all omnipotent. It was such bullshit. <laughs> all he's, all, he's, he's all omnipotent. He's omnipotent. <laughs> oh, he couldn't pop a boner. <laughs> so get, I'm, I'm getting make too him fired up. Wesker's all <laughs> impotent. Yeah, <laughs> pre pretty much. He trades his soul. Uh, Why where, do they call it impotent and not limpotent? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, Silent Hill Revelation. Did good. Did you see that? No. Second Silent Hill's they, good. They dropped the ball. That it's was not as it. good as the first, but it's up there, no. I think. Need for Speed. Never saw it. Never did. Yeah, oh, that had Jesse Pinkman a, in it. We should have a watching, <laughs> viewing party. A Need watching, for Speed. Uh, Hitman party. Agent 47. Nope. That, I think, is the one with the, <laughs> the seventh head son. Seventh That's heaven. Bald Seventh Heaven's Bald Seventh Heaven. <laughs> Holy shit, we have a new champion here. Highest grossing film on the list. Wow. So far. Wreck-It Ralph. Warcraft. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, well, Warcraft did did well around well, overseas. That. Remember that film? No, that CG. We, we were we had a hand in promoting it. Yeah, that actually is the highest grossing video game movie of all time. That doesn't wow. surprise me. Four hundred and thirty three million dollars, and that was mostly China. World, I was gonna say worldwide in China, that thing probably slayed. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed. You remember that Michael Fassbender? Yeah. I believe. No. Oh, I yep. didn't see that. No. Okay, Resident Evil: The Final Chapter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it picks up. Uh, thumbs up. It started to pick up again, and now I'm <laughs> I'm a little on board for the reboot because it's like, well, I, all right. We'll so that's see. a thumbs up. That's a thumbs up on the last one. <laughs> the final chapter, and then there's another one coming. Well, yeah, because you know they're gonna reboot it. Uh, the there's a on. new lore, uh, a new Tomb Raider. That's yeah. right. Vikander, Last Alicia year. Vikander, nope. I think. I, okay. I say okay. Thumbs up. No. And then Rampage. Let me see yeah, oh, I did. I I've did seen see that, that twice. I did see that. Uh, that might have been dope if I was ten. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> just, oh come on! Best it's, review. It's that is the second highest I, 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 honestly, movie. Honestly, Rampage was so like I. It was so banal. It was entertaining with all the shit happening, but it was so, it was like reading a story out of a picture book. Like, I think I would have liked it if I was like eight or nine or 10. But okay. I, that know. is a $426 million. Yeah. yeah. That was a huge hit. That actually was a huge hit. Upcoming movies. Stuff to look forward to for everybody. Detective Pikachu. I'll that, see that. That will be the biggest grossing. That will dwarf the rest of that list. You think yeah. so? Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. That comes out in mid May. Yeah. That's Sonic the Hedgehog in November. No, I don't think no, that will. No. That's going to be so annoying that's to dead. go online when yeah. that movie's out. I don't know if this is real, but it says the Minecraft movie. That's got to be an animated movie. No, I've heard about that. They've been talking about that forever. Live so action? I, I, don't know about, I don't know about that. Notch yeah. is going to teach <laughs> economics. And then apparently a Monster Hunter movie. Huh. Yeah. What? Oh, and I think they. I want to say they showed stuff from it. Uh, uh, but, um, what's his name? Your Resident Evil dude. He's Paul, directing it. Paul Anderson? Yep. Paul Thomas Anderson? Paul, no. no. W.D. <laughs> Paul. Paul Thomas Anderson. Paul, Paul w, w. Yeah, w. too many Anderson. of these Paul Anderson types. Uh, but he, I think he's in it, doing it. And so, of course, who's in it? Mila? Yep. Oh, if she's in it, I'm there. Yeah, of course. I'm looking at, there's also she a list smokes, of animated. You know. I'm not going to go through the animated movies, but I'll let you know the highest grossing animated movie Based on a video game of all time, with three hundred and fifty-two million dollars. I think I bet I know what wow. it is. Does anybody have a guess? Is it a Pokemon? 
No. An oh, animated movie. Really? Animated? Oh, yeah, there's animated Pokemon movies. Based on a video game. I can't. I don't um, know. I would have guessed Pokemon. Oh. Uh, Angry Birds. What? Whoa. Oh, that's right. I forgot they made that. That's yeah. a fucking app. Oh. Angry Birds. <laughs> it's a video game. Yeah, you're right. Angry Birds, the movie two, is slated to come out this August. Yeah. Dude. I forgot about What that. is Emoji Movie Two coming? Oh God. Uh, so I prefer I prefer that over <laughs> Angry Bird movies. Uh the Pokemon movies. Pokemon two thousand and Pokemon the movie. Uh, are very successful, but nowhere near Angry Birds. Yeah. Not up wow. there, huh? Well, they were kind of, if I remember correctly, they were kind of limited release, too. I thought, but maybe I'm wrong. You get a foil uh, Mewtwo if you went to the Grossmont Theater. Yeah. Back oh, in yeah. the day to go see it. Holy right. shit. We just mine. talked about a lot of fucking movies. Yeah. Fuck. yeah. We, just, we just reviewed about 75 fucking films. Thumbs up and thumbs <laughs> down. Yeah, I like that. We never have to do it again. I like that. You never have to review another film. All right, where do we go from here? Uh, home. Home. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think we're good. There's I might hit the taco shop on the way. Yeah, but, right. But then home, yeah. No, I've had my. I've raised enough cane. I've caused. <laughs> He's raised enough cane. I've raised enough. I like the name of that restaurant, by the way, because it's kind of like you know you're. Up to no good. You're being dev. You're causing mud. Causing mud. You're raising cane. You're fucking eating fucking chicken all the live long day. <laughs> fucking Pacopsin. Pacopsin, you just reached your own. Fucking dick Popeyes. Your ass. Popeyes, Popeyes you just ass. fucked yourself. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did Popeyes just bend their dick around their <laughs> ass and fuck themselves. It's muffed up. I ordered Polynesian sauce and you only got fucking. Tahiti base. Oh, I can't home. sell tickets to Raising Canes. Well, I guess I'm taking it on the fucking battleship then. <laughs> fucking Popeyes. Wash it down with a fucking nice ice cold Gerardo soda. Best Gerardo soda <laughs> out there. Whatever the fuck I want.